Hey guys, this is Yugen A6 Productions, <coughs> and this is the first of the two-part special I'm having um, called How to Spot a Scammer, and just like the title says, I'm going to show you how to spot a scammer. Alright, this first part um, is um, not just your, every average, um, your average everyday scammer, like you make an account being some random person scam little kids because they're usually the majority of the people who fall for it. I'm talking about the people who pose as big, big Yugi tuber traders like Pause Joker. No, um, a Pause Joker. He's this dude. I'm not gonna lie. He fooled me pretty good at first. Um, he's a uh, Pause Joker poser. He's a Pause poser. Sorry for that bad pun. Um, he, well, he basically makes his account to scam people. That's that's all. Now there's many people like this. He, so far, has been the main one, I'm pretty sure the only one to catch Pause's attention, since I'm pretty sure he's the best one so far. That's not something to be accomplished, so don't think that it is. But anyway, so, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Scam Police, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, scammer Police, whatever, I'm not downing them, like, they do a really good job of spotting scammers and stuff, um, but here's the thing, they, they prevent people from being scammed more from them. See, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, trying to prevent people from being scammed by this person, period. So I don't let them, I'm, I'm trying to make it to where I, that people don't let peop them scam someone and then, oh, say, oh, that guy just scammed that guy, he's a scammer. I'm trying to help people spot out the scammer before he scams anyone to prove he's a scammer. So if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, so this is how you, this, these are some five pretty good ways to tell if someone's a poser trying to be a big trader. First thing is, what a pause, jo a, a pause joker did was, um, well, right here on the channel, at the very top, it says all, and then it says uploads, and then it says favorites. If you click all, it has your videos, your favorites, and I'm pretty sure it has your playlist. Um, but then the next thing is uploads, so it just shows all your uploads in order. I'm pretty sure you can reorder them, point being there all and then uploads. And then your favorites, you click on obviously your favorites show up right there in that column. You can click on them, show them on your channel. See what this guy did, okay, he made um I don't know if he did it on purpose. I don't think he's smart enough to do that, but but anyway, so okay, um what what he did is he made it to where his channel colors faded whatever selection was into the background so you couldn't see it. So his favorites weren't there. Because I'm sure once you click on that it makes it the um where it says favorites it makes that dark. So that way it blends in with the background, so all you can see is all and uploads. So either way you can click on those and see his uploads, but you think those are his uploads. Any guy that wasn't looking for to be scam, any guy w that wasn't looking for him to be a scammer would not notice that. So um, right here we have favorites, so all uploads and favorites on his favorites. It's blended in with the background, so you can't see it. And then he um, for somehow I think maybe with hypercam, um, he recorded his videos, sound and all, audio video all on intact all um like his main his main i think his main recent trade um sale what's for sale videos there's like about maybe eight nine ten of them i don't know i didn't count but i don't they obviously don't um yeah they have a lot of views because they're not really his video and it says even it says the artist of it is pause joker so it just says pause joker which i don't know if that's normal because i think if you're looking at someone's videos and if they're on your, and you're on up their uploads, I don't think it says, like, say, I uploaded a video. I don't think it would say you can ask introductions under the video. But that's not the point. The point is, he favorited some of his main recent trade videos with all his awesome, um, with all his awesome inventory. So that way people would see it. Um, then they wouldn't notice that pause joker thing right there, and they wouldn't think anything of it. Has all the, those views. And in the, he copied the ex description exactly, like, I'm serious, he copied it exactly. Which, um, is, like, just stupid, just don't do it. Point being, you think those are Pause Joker's videos. So, watch out for that, that's the first thing. Second thing is, um, if you're anywhere, anybody like, um, Team DKF Asian Persuasion 2008, Team Minority, Equal 40, Pause Joker, you're proud of your subs. Now, if you don't have the little thing on the side, like, usually, it's usually on the right. It's definitely on there. Usually, unless you want it off, it shows, like, your ten first subs or whatever, and it shows the number of subs, just like it does friends. You can turn that off. 
But then where it says what day you joined, when your last sign-in was, total upload, total video, total channel views, usually if you're proud of your subs, it says subscribers right there. Any big person would leave that there. Now, if they're a poser, they obviously don't have subscribers, so that would easily be a dead, dead giveaway. So, they're right there. No subscribers. No easy... Unless you're looking for their subscribers, then you're not going to notice it's not there. So, um, pay attention to that. Next thing is channel comments. Whenever you... Um, on these posers, um, okay, whenever you put a channel comment on saying, I like your videos, whatever, or say, hey, man, you're so cool trying to scam people, when someone does figure it out, um, okay, one big thing is because, okay, Dub, um, Pause Joker, I guarantee, I probably bet you a lot of money that he, I know for the fact that he doesn't have this thing to where he has, you have to wait for permission to comment. So it said, um, like a video response, you know, when you post one of those, it says, um, requesting approval, waiting for approval or something. So right when they say approved, it goes to their channel. So anything that's saying, hey, dude, where's my freaking cards or something, hey, you're a scammer, He's going to see when it requests to be on his channel, delete. So anything like, hey, I want to trade with you, or hey, man, I like your videos, real big fan, pause joker, then he's going to keep those because it makes him look more official. So um, any big person would not have, to, because they get at least 100 a week, probably 100 plus a week um, comments. So they can't waste their whole time going through those comments, so they're just going to let whatever be on there. People have opinions. Some way... Sorry, some way or another, they're going to get their opinions out there, whether it's through a comment box or not, so they don't care. The next thing is um, no warning, which means, say I'm Pause Joker, and I want to advertise my new channel, I'm not just going to let people find it on their own, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let them find it on their own. I am going to put a link on every single one of my videos, on my channel, on my, on my um, announcements, on my recent activity. I'm going to put, I'm going to make so much advertisement, there's none, then it's probably a fake channel. So, any big person would want advertisement for their new channel. The next thing is refs. If they don't have a link to, like, a blog site where they put their refs because they have too many, or they don't have any refs on there at all, or they really look fake, then they're fake. I guarantee it. Just because Paws Joker's big, and I know everybody trusts him, doesn't mean he doesn't put his refs. And I'm pretty sure he does. But he has so many right now. So, I'm pretty sure he does do that. That doesn't... All these things don't mean they're a scammer. It just kind of giving you a hint and to what to look out for. The next big thing is um, whenever their name is like a pause joker, I mean whenever you type out Yu-Gi-Oh 96 Productions and you replace the I in Yu-Gi-Oh U-I-G, wait, U, Y-U-G-I-O-H, the I, you replace it with an L and you just scan over my name, you're going to think it's me, but it's really not. So that's another thing is like Dub K Dad 1, that's his name, Dub K Dad 2, if he really made a second channel that'd be believable. But then you've got to take all these other things in for account. So a pause joker. If he made another channel, it'd be pause joker three, since he already has a pause joker two. So why, if I made a second channel, would I be L U G N I six Productions or Butterfly U G N I six Productions? That's retarded. I'd put U G N I six Productions two. So watch out for the name thing. All right, that's it on um, how to spot a scammer. Um, the first part, um, just like um, big um, posers of the really big popular Yugi tuber traders, Yugi tubers. So, um, that's the main thing. Remember, these things don't automatically mean they're posers. Just please look out for them. Even people that only have like a thousand or five hundred subs, they'd still do this because people know that they're a little bit popular and they'd get easy cards out of them. So, they'd easily scam people. So, um, keep these factors in mind as you go around trading thoughtlessly around YouTube, hoping, hoping you guys don't get scammed. So, best of luck to you guys. Don't get scammed. If you know any scammers, PM me and tell me and I'll try to spread the word. But I need proof that this can be. So that's it. On this you can ask instructions. Thanks for watching. Sorry if you just looked at the carpet the whole time. I know that's kind of boring, but nothing else to look at. So that's it. See ya.